Welcome back to St Anne's here in Higher Openshaw. Um, one of the things that is often put at priests, and it's always done with a tongue-in-cheek joke, is that, you know, we only work one day a week. Well, you might figure that to be the case, but what I'd like to do is to play for you um, a computer-read piece of prose, which... I'm actually not quite sure where it came from. I was told that it was written by a Salford priest who is now actually retired, but it is uh, an anonymous piece, but I thought you might find it rather interesting. It's called, But Father, What Do You Do All Day? Leader of people, wisest of guides, diplomat, elder, who never takes sides. Inspirer, confessor, forgiver of sins, caretaker, cleaner and emptier of bins. Welcome baptizer of infants in arms, counter of candles and filler of forms. Father and teacher, chaplain to schools, chairman of governors, maker of rules. Guide of the juniors, infants and staff with time to be serious, time for a laugh. Counselor, preacher, entertainer at times ever available till midnight chimes. Parish accountant and administrator, typist and banker, and news duplicator. Signer of mass cards, reference composer, certificate writer and passport endorser. Digger of gardens, inspector of drains, checker of roofs every time that it rains. Redesigner of churches, to fill empty pews, reglazer of windows, repairer of loose. Visitor, caller, knocker on doors, target of gossips and cadgers and bores. Chaplain to hospital, long or short stay, please don't forget, my mum's in for the day. The doctors and nurses all merit a call, smile kindly at everyone, keep on the ball. Sayer of masses and liturgy leader, celebrant, sacristan, cantor and reader. Marshal of servers, collectors and choir, of hymn books and papers, both seller and buyer. President of Eucharist, come as you like, but did I remember to switch on the mic? Celebrant of masses, devotions and prayers, patient receiver of everyone's cares. Marriage encounter and parish renewal, journeys of faith and liturgical jewels. Shepherd to prayer groups, prophet and pastor, spiritual director and guru and master. Frontline evangelist, missioner, catalyst, Guardian of Faith and Converter and Catechist. Supporter of KFOD and Christian Aid, with boxes and envelopes of all shapes and shades, friend of the Anglicans, Methodists, Jews, Muslims and Buddhists, and everyone's views. Joint schemes and services, unity prayers, civic occasions and parties and fairs. Blesser of rosaries, of houses and homes, the power and the glory still stretching from Rome. Help of the sick and anointer and healer, support for the dying and final appealer. Conductor of funerals, comfort of mourners, call to give solace to even the scorners. By bingo enthusiasts and drinkers he's seen, as the beginning and end of the social life scene. Drawer of raffles, jumble sales, stalls, now rushing to court to relicense the hall. Minister of marriage, the guide of young love advisor of couples who need help from above, provider of insight into all life connubial, collector of forms for the marriage tribunal, man of prayer and reflection, of study and thought, but still finding time for the news and the sport, looker after of the parish next door, when their priest is sick and down on all fours, worries about wedding preparation and whether he has the right information, something for everyone you might exclaim, but when things go wrong, who is it they blame? Why isn't Father available? He's never there when I want him. As I said, uh, I don't know exactly who wrote that, but I hope that you can see that perhaps it was written slightly tongue-in-cheek. But to tell you the truth, I could add an awful lot more to that list if I really put my mind to it, but I wouldn't want to spoil the, the writing that... It, uh, as it stands. So, I hope that you enjoyed 
that little podcast. By the way, if you've got anything you'd like to say or if you want to leave any kind of message, you can do on the Spreaker website, which is what you're listening this uh, to this on. If you just go to the little white box where it says leave message, uh, you can leave me a message there anytime and I will get back to you. Or if you'd like to email me instead, you can do that too. And you can find my email address and all the contact details for me, phone address, everything else you need on our website, www.stannesrchurch.co.uk. I would be delighted to hear from you. So until next time, this is me once again signing off.